Hey everybody. Well, for today's video, I have a short one. This one's going to uh, be about a feature in Blender called Dyntopo. Maybe it's called Dentopo. I don't know how it's pronounced exactly. But what it allows you to do is do some free sculpture uh, by decreasing or increasing the density of the mesh uh, kind of as you need it. It's pretty cool. So um, it should be a lot of fun. So uh, let's get on with it. Okay, so here I am in Blender, and I've just got the default cube here. And this is a nice, quick, simple way to make a tree branch um, that I found. Uh, all we're going to do is go into Edit Mode. And we're going to go and select by faces rather than, right now it's selecting by vertices. So whenever I right-click on a vertice, you see that the, uh, the vertice lights up. But I want to select a face. So I'm just going to left-click on this little icon down here. And we'll pick a face and just stretch it out. And I'm going to go up here to the scale button and, and click on that. And just drag a little bit to the right to make it a little bit smaller, give it a bit of a taper. Now I'm going to go into uh, edge select mode. And I'm just going to select the four edges. Uh, to do that, I'm going to hold down the shift button and click each edge. And with all four of those uh, lengthwise edges selected, I'm going to go up here and uh, subdivide. And we'll set that up to a number of subdivisions that looks about like that. So everything looks kind of even, uh, even lengths on each side. And then I'm going to select, I'm going to actually go into vertice mode and select all now you see that everything is selected here. I'm going to subdivide again. This time I'm, I just want to uh, make the mesh denser. So we'll go down to subdivide again. And we'll just click up to the number of cuts about there. That gives us a lot of vertices to work with because we're going to do the rest of this in sculpting mode. So now I'm going to jump over to sculpting mode. And um, First thing I'm going to do is go to the grab. I'm just going to and increase the, uh, the size of the brush some. And it's going to give this sort of a, a nice S shape to it. Something like that. So I'm going to have like maybe a scene with a bird perched on this or something. And I want him to be kind of higher than over here. And if I want to kind of make this taper more, I can always hold down the shift key and smooth it out a bit. And actually I'll do that kind of along the whole branch. And that gets rid of that squarish shape. I'm just holding down the shift key and tapping the uh, the left mouse, mouse button and that, that activates the smoothing feature. Alright, so now I'm going to go into it. What's kind of a relatively new feature in, um, uh, in Blender. It's called Dine Topo, and what this is is it's going to uh, automatically add or possibly subtract vertices as you sculpt. It's a really neat feature, so we're going to enable that. And the first thing I'm going to do is select a snake hook tool. And with the snake hook tool, I find that it's best to have the this D E T the D detail. Sorry, it's best to have the detail setting down pretty low. Here, let's see, make it so we can read that whole thing. Detail size. We'll set it down to around two. And the brush we're going to do shrink as well. What you can see here with the snake hook is you can kind of drag the thing out. And I see something a little bit weird happen. You know what? I'm in. Let's control Z to undo that. I have the symmetry mode turned on. So let's turn off the symmetry lock. Because you don't need that with the tree branch. And now with the snake hook, I can kind of come in here and pull some branches out. Let me pull one out right there. Don't need a whole lot. I just want some indications of some branches. And maybe if you want to get a little bit more elaborate, you can pull a branch off of a branch. All right, and now let's give this some some, some gnarly texture. And again, we're going to keep this in the, the Dine Topo mode. I'm not sure if it's really pronounced that way, but it seems to work. And we'll just go to Blob. 
And you can see here, I can just draw along the edge of this thing, kind of give it sort of a gnarly texture. And if I zoom in, I get more detailed. And actually, it's probably a little bit too detailed. Let's undo all that. We'll set the detail strength for the Dine Topo back up to around 10. Right, that's a bit better. I'm not going to have so much, uh, so many, uh, so much density in my mesh that I can't use it. Now it looks pretty jagged here. If you want it to look a little bit less jagged, and like what it'll look like when you actually render, you can um, turn on this smooth shading thing here. So I'm just going to zoom around and you know draw in some gnarls details into this into this branch. Like I said, zooming in and out. I mean, you can change the brush size as well. I find it easier just to zoom in and zoom out. And maybe make those branches kind of grow out of the... Uh, the, the main trunk. And maybe I'll go back into the snake hook and kind of split this end off a bit. Now remember with the snake hook you want to go with a lower detail size. Oh, I was in grab mode. I wasn't in snake hook mode. That was the problem. So, you gotta be careful. They, they kind of work similar, but the grab doesn't add uh, density to the mesh when you're in Dine topo mode. And there we go. Just like that, I've sculpted a branch. And in a future uh, video, I'll be using this. I'll put maybe a, a hawk or an owl on top of this. Uh, so you can look forward to that. So like I said, it was a nice quick video today. I just wanted to show you kind of this neat uh, feature, this Dine topo feature for doing some really quick sculpting in Blender. And it's really easy to do. So uh, I'll export this real quick. Um, Let's see, export, and we'll export this as a wavefront object. And I'll just stick it on my desktop for now. Actually, it's a little easier said than done on using uh, Blender. There it is, desktop. And it's called branch. That's a nice, like I said, a nice quick way to create a branch for a for a nice nature scene. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this and thanks everybody and good night.